Welcome back to the channel. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. Today we're going to talk about Father's Day. I did a Mother's Day episode a few weeks back. You can check it out here if you want to. And today we're going to give uh, fathers their love. I'm a relationship coach, been doing it for years, but more importantly, I'm a father of two teenagers. While Mother's Day is a huge deal for women, I think a lot of ladies get the idea that men think the same thing about Father's Day. Most of us don't, to a point, so that's what I wanted to do this episode. This doesn't mean that fathers don't take Father's Day seriously. They just think of it a little bit differently than women do towards Mother's Day. Most men really don't like receiving gifts. That's just kind of how most of us are. Some are, but most of us aren't. Uh, we're not really good about getting gifts, or we don't really know what to ask for. So most guys are like me. If I need something, I go out and get it. And if I need something, I'll grab it. That's just how most guys are. That's how we operate. We try not to complain to a degree. Like I said, there's always outliers, but most men are like that. If they need something, they'll go get it. So we're kind of tough to, to, to shop for, which is another reason why I want to do this episode. So what do we want as men, as fathers, for Father's Day? Mainly, we just want the day to be acknowledged by the family. Simple as that. That's kind of, that's really how I feel about it. I've talked to plenty of other guys. Most guys feel the same way. Men are pretty simple creatures, so it doesn't really take a lot to, to get us going. But there are certain things that will make Father's Day very special. Men and women really want to be appreciated. We just want to be appreciated for what we do for our families. Men and women are, are the same that way. Most men feel a strong desire to provide for their families, to protect. That's just an innate evolutionary thing within us. It's a, it's a switch that gets flipped after we have kids. There's a strong desire to protect and provide. It's totally innate. It's within us. It's very difficult to explain and describe, but it's true. My oldest is now 15. I have a daughter. She's our oldest. And when she was born, I used to think that errands, running errands, getting stuff was a bit of a chore. It was, it was kind of a, an annoying thing. After she was born, I, I recognized something that happened within me. I felt genuinely good about going out and getting stuff that we needed. I can't explain that totally, but going to the grocery store or going to pick up something from the pharmacy, whatever my wife and my daughter needed at the time, I would drop everything I was doing. Boom, let's go. <laughs> that trigger just flipped in my head. It hasn't gone away since. My daughter's now 15. And at this point, most likely it will never go away. I'm accepting that at this point. Are all guys like that? Nope, but most are. It's just something within us when we become fathers, it, it gets triggered. So that's the first thing. That's the main thing, appreciation. Men just want to feel appreciated for the most part. We are simple creatures after all. And the obvious gift is a little nookie. <laughs> that's, that's a fact. That's across the board. Any guy you talk to on Father's Day, a good way to make your man feel appreciated is a little nookie, and specifically morning nookie. If you didn't know this, testosterone peaks in the morning. It's one of the reasons why morning wood is a thing. Men, generally speaking, are pretty turned on in the morning when they wake up. Testosterone's at, at its highest level. Sue us. It's the way we're built. Okay. Little morning nookie. Very good way to show your man you appreciate him. Homemade cards are always a good one from either the, the kiddos or the wife. Either one is fine. It's great. And honestly, when my kids were, were little, this is something that I look forward to. Uh, whether they were in kindergarten, they would make these little projects and uh, they, made, they made things for us. And uh, it was awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed that. And to be honest with you, I've, I've, I kept a few of those cards. Another thing you can do is just set some time away for him. 
uh, for us, uh, shop time, something that we do as a hobby, something we really enjoy, set some time away during that day so that we can do that. Uninterrupted. That's a very good way to show your man you appreciate him. So another thing that we generally across the board enjoy is cooking our favorite meal, cooking a, a, a fancy dessert that we enjoy, or going to a restaurant that we, that we love. All of those things are on the table when it comes to most men. Another common thing that men and women share is enjoying a, an evening out, a uh, date night with their wife, just to hang out with, uh, with, with your wife, uninterrupted, no kids. Uh, that's a great way for, um, for a guy to feel appreciated, especially if the kids are out, they're not available, they're not around. Date night, go out, do something fun. Great way to spend the time. But the number one thing, uh, in, in my opinion, nothing beats a family get-together. A barbecue, cooking out, grill out. Uh, if you provide, uh, you as a wife provide the, the dessert, something that we enjoy, it's amazing. Uh, that's Nothing beats a family get-together on Father's Day. Uh, it's in June, and... Perfect time for a grill out and just spending time with your family. It's an amazing thing. So am I saying a grandiose gift is unwarranted here? Nope. I'm not saying that, but 90% of the time it's unwarranted because if we want something like that, we're going to go get it for ourselves. If we need a tool, we're going to go get it when we need it. That's just how guys are built. So here's the bottom line when it comes to Father's Day. Men rarely, if ever, receive compliments from others. They don't really receive outside validation like women do. Women have a tendency to, to get it very easily, especially on social media. Men don't get that as often. So appreciation means a lot when you get it. Frankly, most men feel invisible in the world. It, a lot of ladies don't understand that. Do we need the outside validation to feel better? No, but when you get it, it definitely makes you feel good, especially now that men don't have the outlets that they used to, the, the poker nights, the bowling nights, uh, Masons, the Lions Clubs, these, these men's organizations that used to be very, very common are dying because men are really busy doing a lot of the other stuff, uh, taking, taking up the, the activities that men didn't used to do. So men don't have that outlet. So there's less of a chance to get that outside validation from, from others, especially other men who are peers. So men don't need the outside validation to survive, but when you get it, it is life-changing. If you're working out, you're at the gym, somebody comes up to you, another gym bro comes up to you and says, hey man, you're looking buff. That can literally change a man's life, 100%. There's not a whole lot that can make you feel good like being recognized by someone else for efforts that you've done, for all the work that you've done. It's, it's, a, it's a, an extremely good feeling. So in closing, remember, just one gesture of appreciation can go a long way for men. A long way. Just tell your man you appreciate him. Show him that you appreciate him. And he will, he'll move mountains for you. So if you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Join my Facebook group, Marriage Isn't Dead. It's free to play. Come on in. Everybody's welcome, men, women. If you're looking for some help, if you're looking for a good outlet, come on in. I welcome everyone. Just play nice. So until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.